I'm sorry. I'm a poser. I apologize. <laughs> but like, it's for the drip. Like you got to. If it's for the drip, you got to. <laughs> Today, we are going to be talking about my 2024 fashion predictions. Now, have I been in the fashion game for a long time? Not really. I just started paying attention to what I wear. Um, probably, probably started like maybe my sophomore year of high school and like really like actually started looking at people. Probably, I think starting last year, probably my senior year last year. So I'm not a professional at all. These are just some of the things that I've started to notice in um, just through looking through different shopping sites, through Pinterest. Um, I watched a couple of videos on YouTube with different big name brands to see what could kind of like trickle down into the like main like from high fashion could trickle down into main fashion um everyday wear so here's some things that i started picking up on and um let me know in the comments if you agree disagree um but yeah let's get into it the first item on my list and also this list is so out of order you just going to follow along with me. I'm going to have pictures up beside me when I'm talking about certain things. But just for now, just, just try to stay with me. <laughs> but yeah, the first thing I can see becoming like really popular and like literally like, um, I don't know, probably like for birthdays during the spring months or actually I could see this possibly falling into the summer would be the pointed kitten heels or like kitten heels in general. Um, I've seen a lot of people wear these kitten heels, whether it be streetwear, whether it be um, more of like an elegant look, like with like a going out outfit. I've seen like these heels almost everywhere. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, I've talked about this topic before because I was kind of on the hunt for a pair of kitten heels, pointed kitten heels, because I just think they're a good piece that you could put in your closet because you can wear them for interviews, you can wear them for date night, you can wear them like an everyday look because the heel is so short that it doesn't affect your feet unless you're walking for like a long, long, long period of time, in my opinion. Yeah, and I mostly got this idea. I was watching the Valentino Spring and Summer 2024 um, collection. And I just started to notice that most of the models were wearing these pointed kitten heels. And I was like, I can see that becoming a big thing in the spring and summer, especially with more of the dainty outfits that come out of spring. And then during the summer, I can see like a first summer birthdays, having like a cute top, baggy jeans, and a pair of kitten heels for a birthday dinner. Um, I just think they're very versatile in what you can wear them with and what you can use them for. Next, we're going to move on to socks with heels. Now, I've seen this with like the Mary Jane type heels. I've seen it with the pointed kitten heels again. Um, and I really saw this in the Dior Autumn Winter 2023-2024 collection, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> for the first half of that whole entire fashion show, all the models were wearing socks with heels. And then... Um, I've seen on Pinterest, uh, just scrolling throughout the day, I've seen girls wearing socks with heels for different um, outfits, whether it be like knee-high socks or whether it be the short ones with the little frills on them. Um, I feel like you can really dress up and do whatever you feel like with that type of combo. And I feel like you can do more of like a street row style, like with some jorts and like a shirt and then have like the unexpected mixing of different types of aesthetics or different pieces and creating a um, unique outfit that almost everything is a statement piece, but all those statement pieces work together cohesively, if you know what I mean. I can see it being placed like that for streetwear. Another way I can see it would possibly be with cottagecore, with 
uh, the frills with the heels or like maybe the knee high socks with the heels and I just think that they're a really cute um, sort of trend that I'm starting to see. Another thing that I can see and wanted to touch on was ribbons. I've seen them be used as bows for hair, bows or like shoelaces or like bows on different pieces of clothing and I just think that really is a trickle down effect from first okay listen to my theory here first i feel like it started with like soft you have your soft girls right the soft girls have a branch and it's called now please listen y'all i get corrected every time by everybody that i tell this to but like to me the way that the word is spelled i'm thinking this croquet croquet that type of aesthetic so i feel like that trickled down and then from that um, aesthetic I feel like ballet like ballet core the ballet aesthetic kind of branched off from that and so through those styles you often see ribbons being used in the hair and so um, I just feel like people are being more explorative with ribbons whether it be in their hair or whether it be um, on shoes on different clothings and I can also see it spreading to different styles like streetwear, girls wearing it in their hair or lacing up their sambas with um, ribbons instead of regular shoelaces. Like, I just think they're very versatile and they can go with any aesthetic or any um, outfit that you have in mind if you really don't have a set aesthetic and like to mix aesthetics or mix different ideas from different groups of people. I feel like those that ribbons are one of those things that can be mixed into a lot of different types of um, clothing and fashion trends. Okay, now hear me out. This might be my only Pinterest because I talked with my friends and then when I told them this, they were like, really? You've seen a lot of that? And the item would be ties. I've seen a lot of ties, whether it be paired with streetwear and being a sweater and baggy pants and you're having, you have a tie with a white shirt underneath. I've seen a lot of that. I've also seen girls use the tie as a belt and kind of like tie it around their waist and through the belt loops and use it in that way. And so I just think ties are a really good way to elevate a look and make it a new accessory, especially for women, because often in everyday life, you don't really see women wearing ties that much. And so to have that piece in your outfit, maybe you're having on a basic outfit and you add in a tie. People are going to be drawn to that tie and that tie instantly becomes a um, statement piece as a woman. So I feel like ties are going to be the new statement piece maybe, like a new statement piece for women. Um, maybe men too, you never know, but I think it's more, um, common to see a man in a tie rather than a woman in a tie so i think that would be the new statement pieces for women in um in streetwear i feel like this is a more streetwear type of style but i feel like it could go with any type of aesthetic or um trend that's going on right now okay Touching back for ballet core, I feel like this is going to be a really big thing for the spring just because it's, I won't, I don't want to say easy, but I feel like it's not something hard to do. It's more of a relaxed outfit. You can still layer while and be warm on like if it's chilly that morning and then you could still be comfortable when it starts getting hot in the afternoons. And I think ballet core started with the, um, please, guys, throughout this whole video, please don't butcher my, the way I say these things, please. But it would have to be the Mew Mew. I think it's Mew Mew or Moo Mew. I don't know. Um, the little satin, um, kitten heels that look like a ballet shoe. Um, I've seen a lot of that on different people, whether it not be the exact same shoe, because that shoe is very expensive but it will be i'll see dupes like on um sheen or dh gate and i feel like those are going to be a lot more utilized in the springtime but i feel like it would mix more of like athleisure and ballet wear together like i could see this being a continuation of the flared pants and having like a little cute like unitard and having like a little shawl and some tennis shoes 
I can see those kind of coming together and mixing together to um, show more of a relaxed side of the ballet core. And in my opinion, an unrelaxed style of the ballet core would probably be those ballet heels and probably paired with like a little skirt and probably a unitard. I don't know. I haven't really looked much into the topic of ballet core, but this is just what I've been seeing um, through like Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. These are just things that I've noticed and have popped up on my um, feed that I feel like can like snowball into something a lot bigger and something more like seen like in regular day, regular time, like for everyone. Another one of my favorite trends is brands being brought back from the 2000s. I like honestly the 2000s is one of my favorite um, like eras. It would have to be a tie between the 1990s and the 2000s. Those years of fashion were peak for um, all different types of communities. And so I'm seeing a revival of brands like Junko, Ed Hardy, Juicy Couture, um, true religion and it's making me so excited that these brands are starting to get well not the recognition that they deserve but starting to be revived because nothing was wrong with them they were good good quality brands and um i feel like they should shine just a little bit more for the people who weren't born in their prime era you know but yeah i've been seeing a lot more of this with the ed hardy um jeans with a different um and then me personally i own an ed hardy jacket that i got from my mom because you know mama was a hot girl and she knew what was up she had to save clothing for her daughter so obviously i have an ed hardy jacket like what and so um i've seen a lot of I've seen a lot with the Ed Hardy jumpsuits and like maybe like the more baddie aesthetic type clothing. Um, I've also seen Junko. Junko has been popping up on my Instagram a lot, re a lot more recently and have been popping up on apps like Poshmark, Depop. Um, and I'm glad that they're getting the revival because I feel like they are the brand that truly understood what we said baggy we meant baggy for the streetwear girlies and so i feel like they really did well on um the whole ba baggy pant idea and especially with the kangaroo pockets that some of the jeans have um especially with the older junko jeans with the kangaroo pouch with the actual kangaroo in it with boxing gloves i thought that was so cute currently saving up my money maybe next christmas i will get a pair of junko jeans um and then i'm also seeing a lot more with the juicy couture with the juicy couture sets juicy couture pur purses um and a lot of juicy couture accessories I'm happy that these brands are being revived because i didn't feel like they were bad brands you know um all we need is baby fat live that's all that's all we need then to come back is baby fat and i will be set and happy this right here will forever be my favorite like trend i guess it would have to be gaudy jewelry. I don't know if you want to call it gaudy or if you want to call it uh, maximalist jewelry. But as a person who loves gold, I love just covering my body in gold, stacking gold. I'll have gold on my nails. Like, I just love gold. And so I love that the um, trend of wearing big, chunky gold pieces or even stacking dainty gold pieces on top of each other has become such... Um, I won't want to say big, but more common, especially with like the rosaries that people are starting to wear with the crosses and the long chain. I think those are a great piece. I also saw this in the Ralph Lauren Spring Summer 2024 collection, and then I saw it again in the Chanel Winter 2023-2024 collection. Both of those brands used really, um, leaned heavily into jewelry to make a I don't want to say basic outfit, but for lack of better words, I'm going to say basic outfit stand out more through the um, overabundance of jewelry. Now, this might not be a trend for most people, but I can see this being big and again, streetwear, 
I can see it being big in um, like the earthy kind of bohemian look for um, the springtime leaning more towards the summertime for the bohemian looks. I feel like it's getting a lot more attention and gaining a lot more traction and um, I know it's not a new thing but I just feel like it will become big this year. Now another favorite of mine would probably have to be jerseys. I wholeheartedly believe jerseys will continue to be a big thing they have to like i don't have a jersey yet i have yet to make a jersey outfit they have to continue being big throughout the spring and summer because i need my time to shine but i've seen a lot of again streetwear having more of the big jerseys and baggy pant combo and um then the mixing of styles of like the white tennis skirt and the um, big jerseys being a combination for the spring, possibly leaning into the summer. Um, I just really love this trend, even though like I do not watch sports like that, I will still buy a jersey. Like, I don't know. I'll probably just ask my boyfriend and be like, what's a good team? And just buy that jersey if I like their colors. Like i'm sorry i'm a poser i apologize <laughs> but like it's for the drip like you got to if it's for the drip you got to um but yeah that's another thing i can see being very big um this spring and summer i feel like long skirts have always been a big um have always been probably not big but probably like around whether it be like the long skirt long bodycon skirts and the white skirts but we're seeing a lot more of jean skirts being a thing and i feel like more like the long jean skirts will be more and heavily worn than the other predecessors of that skirt if that makes sense. so yeah me personally i own a long skirt i absolutely love it it's perfect for days that i don't really feel like wearing pants i don't really feel like wearing something tight to my body and i don't really feel like um i don't know wearing like a short skirt just wear a long jean skirt crop top or a bralette or something like that and i'm good for the day if i was wearing this throughout the summer now for springtime i can see this being paired with like a off the shoulder or asymmetrical top, the long skirt, and um, depending on where you live, either sandals or maybe like a closed toed um, shoe. And I just feel like this, that long skirts are gonna continue being a big thing. I just feel like jean skirts are probably going to lead that long skirt trend. Um, next, we have the use of silk scarves. Now, as a black woman, I use a silk scarf every day, but I've seen a lot more people of color or just people in general wearing scarves as fashion pieces, whether it be tops, whether it be bottoms. Um, some people have started wearing uh, long scarves and tied like pirate style, for lack of better words. Um, I'm just seeing them being used a lot more. They were being used as belts, as statement pieces by being tied around the waist or just used and through the belt loops and like hanging off the side of a person's jeans or something like that. I'm just seeing them being utilized in a lot more different ways other than just, for me, hair. Scarves are still being used for hair. Um, I just feel like it's becoming more popular among many different other groups and again this is not a new thing i'm just seeing them i'm just seeing scarves being a big thing for the um spring and summer again next i'm seeing more tights paired with like dresses and skirts and um i feel like you know during the winter with the i not to me I might be wrong, but the thermal tights that seem like you are just wearing like those thin black um, tights, I feel like those are new. They're new to me. And before now, um, I had never really seen them, but um, maybe like, I think maybe two or three years ago, I had a 
classmate that she wore the tights and everybody was freaking out there because they thought it was her actual legs and they were like oh my gosh how are you not freezing right now and she was like guys they're thermal tights and i was like there's no way and i wanted a pair then but at the time they there wasn't um tights made for darker complexions this year i found a pair of tights that actually complemented and fit my skin tone of all places tiktok shop <laughs> and so um if you are a woman of color or a black woman and you want to purchase those tights please get them i literally wore them in my most recent post on instagram and by the way you should check me out on instagram my link is in my youtube bio um and i literally wore them with that outfit and i was like my outfit's complete i like i don't know i just fell in love with those tights and i'm hoping to pair them with some more things as um as it starts to get a, a little bit warmer because right now in tennessee it is six degrees <laughs> i don't want to wear those tights in six degree weather <laughs> so um, but yeah, and then for the spring, I can see um, more of like the lacy or possibly ombre floral type of tights start to emerge in um, in fashion. Um, and like I said, they could be paired with a short dresses, uh, mini skirts and stuff like that. Um, I feel like they're really nice statement pieces that can keep you warm if um, it is still kind of cold in your area um, during the springtime, but you want to still be in spring fashion. Another thing that I could see becoming more popular would probably be brooches and pins and patches. Um, I'm saying this because of the um, trend of taking the tongue of sambas and decorating them in different pins and i can see this being done with pins and brooches and then I've, of course i've seen a lot of patches um and then i've seen people decorating their uh, birkenstock clogs with different types of patches another way of brooches being used i've seen on um please if you ever see this video or if somebody sends this to you I'm sorry about how I'm about to pronounce your username, <laughs> but uh, Mumishio underscore on Instagram, I saw on one of her outfits, she actually used brooches to decorate her leg warmers, and I've really been into leg warmers recently. I think they pair well with like those black um, loafers. And so I feel like that's another way to elevate yet again another simple piece and make it like the most eye-catching part of an outfit. With adding brooches onto the leg warmers, it elevated the outfit even more. With leg warmers with brooches on them being paired with more statement pieces, I feel like that can create a very, very elevated look in my opinion. Um, and I can see that kind of catching on for some people, but I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. This could, that could just be, that could just be a me thing. We'll never know. <laughs> Another thing that I'm seeing as I'm shopping is more um, off the shoulder type of shirts. I've seen it on Sheen, I've seen it um, on Pinterest, and I've also seen it on Instagram as well with different types of influencers. Um, and then I've seen it on Pinterest like an off the shoulder baggy shirt being paired with like a button down long sleeve and i just think that look is very interesting and something that i would wear just because um it's unexpected in my opinion you never see that out like out on the street well where i live i never see that out on the street and i just feel like it could be something that again elevates a look you can have basic pieces but the way you layer them and style create an elevated look even with just using basic pieces and probably minimalistic jewelry um i can see this being pouring into like the colder months of the springtime and then as springtime progresses every like the loss of maybe the button down shirt maybe like the short skirts i've seen a lot of that as well and also not and then also that sweater could be all potentially ditched for just the button down and have like buttoning the button down to be an off shoulder um, shirt. I've seen a lot of that as well. Mm -hmm. The next thing on the list is jean pieces. 
I've seen a lot more of jean dresses and a lot of more jean cohorts and I feel like jean on jean looks are going to be very popular for this um, spring especially with the look of the um, pop of color boot knee-high boot with maybe a short denim skirt a uh, white button down and then like a a um, denim bustier or a denim uh, corset and i just feel like the denim on denim look was is gonna eat every single time ever since the 2000s with the denim on denim look it's eaten every single time that it's coming back that has come back into mainstream fashion um another denim item that i'm seeing is denim jumpsuits um i would think a while back tiktok had the was promoting the denim jumpsuits with the heart on the back i thought those were so adorable but i was realistic myself and i was like when would i ever wear this piece but i just think denim jumpsuits are a great statement piece and you can dress them up or dress them down to be casual if you were to dress them up i feel like you could pair it well with like a pump um and maybe like a chain belt or like a thick chunky belt to go along with it or you can keep it casual and just wear a pair of sneakers and your favorite pair, your favorite jewelry and, you know, keep it pushing, do your errands, you know. But yeah, that's um, some other pieces and some other compositions that I feel it, like can become more popular or are becoming more popular for the warmer months. Alright guys, um, sorry for talking y'all's heads off, but I think that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know if you'd like this mo more of this content for the summer months or just more content like this on my page. If you like this video, leave a like and comment what you think I missed or if you'd like to continue this series on into um, future videos. Follow me on all social media to continue being updated on what type of content I'm thinking about posting, uh, little snippets of my life, and since school is getting ready to start back soon, I'm probably going to be posting more outfits of the day. Um, and so stay tuned for that type of content to, um, I guess, kind of see how I dress because I feel like in these videos I haven't really shown how I dress and that I can dress for real and that y'all can trust my opinion um but yeah like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye